world graduates, I'm Governor Kathy Hogan. On behalf of the entire state of New York, congratulations to the class of 2023. Today marks the end of one champion of lives and the beginning of a new one. But it's important to recognize the years of hard work that brought you to this point and the adversity you overcame. You weathered a pandemic and all the disruptions it caused. Many of you worked tiring night jobs or took care of family members while still fulfilling your academic obligations. And I know each of you at different points in your lives, you faced some doubt about whether this day would ever come, but it has. You are now standing on the cusp of a future where anything is possible. Go after your dreams, whatever they might be. Take on the big fights. Choose the harder path. You don't have to do it all alone. Your family and friends will be on your side. And as your governor, New York State will always have your backs. We're making sure that all high school seniors will have some incredible opportunities. Students living in New York City will receive a personalized letter from CUNY with lots of information about your college options. If you live outside the city, you're going to learn something exciting. You were just accepted by your local community college and the classes start this fall. It's all part of New York's commitment to knocking down barriers and expanding access to higher education for every student. We want it to be affordable. So these letters will include lots of information about financial aid resources as well. College can be expensive which is why 60% of all New Yorkers on SUNY and CUNY campuses full-time are there tuition free. And it's why our new budget invests tens of millions of dollars into programs for high schoolers to earn college credits and find good jobs. We're doing everything in our power to not just make college appealing, but attainable. I couldn't be prouder to be in your corner, and I'm so excited to see everything you're going to accomplish. Congratulations.
Good evening. Welcome to the ESM Central High School Class of 2023 graduation. Please rise for the processional.
Welcome to the 57th commencement exercise of East Syracuse Manoa Central High School. Please be seated and welcome senior class president Anthony Veasley III to deliver his welcome speech. Hello, everyone. I am Anthony Beasley III, and I had the absolute honor and pleasure of being this year's senior class president. Before I start, before I start, I'd like to give a sincere apology to my mother and my stepfather for the havoc and mayhem that I put them through this past week. <laughs> I would also like to give a sincere apology to the people sitting right in front of me. Because as you I may know, I probably wasn't the best class president. Um, and to be honest, I'll probably go down as like the worst class president this school had like ever had. Um, Cause like, I sucked, you know? I, I had absolutely no idea what being a class president meant and I'm truly so sorry. Um, but if we want to be honest, I feel like it's kind of not all my fault entirely because uh, uh, for those who don't know, um, I ran unopposed. <laughs> so it's not entirely my fault. It's kind of your fault as well. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> um, but nah, I'm just, it's, um, I take full accountability and responsibility for my horrible term as the class pres. Um, but for the reunion, I'll make sure to have it in like Egypt or Dubai, like Hawaii, you know, to make up for the horrible term. But, Enough about me, and let's talk about the, the stars of uh, today's show. The class of 2023. The class of 2023 consists of some of the most resilient people on this planet. Resiliency isn't something that's handed to you on a silver platter. Resi resiliency is something that's earned. It's, it, it, it's earned by people who endure battle after battle, no matter how violent or catastrophic it may be. We have been through a great war. L l l ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to inform you th that the war known as high school is officially over. Uh, before I end things off, I, I would like to um, to talk about my class advisors and my other class officers. So, 
uh, the class officers were mm, uh, were mm, mm, mm. the Mrs. Palmer, who sadly could not be here, and mm, uh, the Mrs. Kyber. Um, for those who don't know, those have to be like truly the best class officers ever uh, because like me, I did absolutely nothing, you know? It, and um, w um, without them, absolutely nothing um, would have happened. So thank you to Vomer and Kyber so, so much. And um, the other class officers, Natalie Peterson, Emma Doni, and Mama. Um, Mama. 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 Margaret Amadine. Thank you guys so much, so, so much for just doing absolutely um, everything because I can't uh, like, like say it enough, I did absolutely nothing, you know? And I am so sorry, I am so, so sorry. So thank you guys so, so much. So to end things off, I want to tell you all about this quote that I found, and it's truly a, a remarkable quote. Um, this quote has to be one of the, this quote is just amazing, and uh, it's truly a life-changing quote. Um, the quote is by Sir Kentrell Central Kintrell Jaldin and Professor Demetrius Amarant. This is how it goes. It's the Paraders of my city. Yeah! Thank you all so much. Thank you, Anthony, for your heartfelt words and reflective memories. Your leadership as class president with all the officers is greatly appreciated. We thank officers Natalie, Margaret, and Emma. And as you already did, we thank our, your class advisors as well, Mrs. Kyber and Mrs. Vollmer, for their guidance and diligent work through all of the senior class events. At this time, we ask that the senior singers come forward and seniors who will be serving in the military to come to the stage to lead us in the pledge. Come forward, yep. While they are coming forward, we want to thank and ask all who have served in the military to please stand and be recognized. We also recognize ESM soon-to-be graduates, Henry Callahan, United States Naval Academy. Isaac Delgado Munoz, United States Navy. Carter DeVita, Army National Guard. Aiden Hurt, Army National Guard. Applause 
Matthew Ledoux, Merchant Marine Academy. Madison Rosso, Navy. And Daniel Hills Valino, United States Marine Corps. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much, senior choir members. We have enjoyed the in-person and virtual concerts and performances since your freshman year. Your talents will be forever remembered. Last year, we started a new tradition at graduation. I'm going to ask you to all make a joyous noise. When I count to three, I'm going to ask you to yell out the name of your soon-to-be graduate. I want their names to be heard in the heavens. Are we ready? One, two, three. Thank you. At this time, at this time, I ask that everyone join me in focusing on the flower vase in the center of the stage here. We remember those who are not with us today, whether it be a classmate, a friend, a teacher, or a family member. This moment of reflection and remembrance will allow us to include those who are not able to be here with us as part of today's celebration. A quick moment of silence, please. Thank you. It is my pleasure to introduce our educational leaders on stage who support our school and most importantly, our students. Please hold your applause until all the introductions have been made. I ask our supporters to please remain standing as your name is called. Dr. Donna Desiato, Superintendent of Schools. Dr. Tom Neveldeen, Deputy Superintendent of Schools. Mr. Shane Hacker, Executive Director of Curriculum, Learning, and Assessment. 
Mr. Douglas Mahorter, Executive Director of Employee Engagement and Accountability. Mrs. Kate Skane, Executive Director of School Business Administration. Mrs. Megan Thomas, Associate Director for Special Education. Mr. Eric Stolick, Valedictorian Introductory. Mrs. Tamara Reed, Salutatorian Introductory. Our East Syracuse Manoa Board of Education, Mr. D. Paul Waltz, President of the Board of Education. Mrs. Tracy Callahan, Vice President of the Board of Education. Board members, Mrs. Lori Aird, Mr. John Albanese, Mrs. Leah Cushing, Mrs. Kay Gallery, Mrs. Debbie Collard. I'm sorry, and Mrs. Kane, I apologize. We also want to thank Dr. Warren Hilton, the president of Onondaga Community College. Also, CHS associate principal, Mrs. Naomi Trivison, and assistant principals, Mr. Antoine Dixon and Ms. Kate Little. Our director of counseling, youth development, and leadership, Mrs. Cheryl West. Coordinator of Spartan Academy, College and Career Pathways, Mrs. Shelley LaMarche, and co Coordinator for Community Engagement, Data and Fine Arts, Mr. Thomas Decker. I would also like to recognize and ask the faculty and the staff that have joined us sitting behind our students today to please stand as well. They all have a hand in showing their support, their care, and send wishes for continued success. Please join me in recognizing all the educational leaders of the community. You may be seated. We want to begin with gratitude this evening. We want to thank a special person, our foreign exchange student this year, Vitor Azaredo from Brazil. Please stand. We recognize Vitor for sharing your culture and your customs with us, and we hope that you have learned the same from all of us. Thank you again for being a part of our school this year. At this time, it is my pleasure to, to present to you the class of 2023, the 57th class of ESM Central High School. The class of 2023 should be very proud of their accomplishments as they graduate from ESM Central High School. Of the 275 students graduating today, several deserve special recognition. 107 students have the honor of wearing a gold tassel, which signifies a 90 plus average for all four years in high school. Forty-five members of the graduating class have been inducted into the National Honor Society. The sash they wear designates this honor. Eleven Spartan Academy students have the honor of graduating with both their high school diploma and their associate's degree from Onondaga Community College this evening. They are the second cohort with 29 members, they have all earned a minimum of 24 college credits per Spartan Academy student. 34 members of the graduating class have earned the seal of civic readiness designation on their diploma. Seven members of the graduating class have earned the seal of biliteracy designation on their diploma. 21 students have been inducted into the National Technical Honor Society. And 23 members of the graduating class have earned a career technical endorsement on their diplomas. Congratulations to all. And now I have some special remarks for our students. Congratulations to the class of 2023.
Today marks the beginning of a lifelong journey with a multitude of roads stretching out before you. Often we find that children's books carry messages that we can apply our whole lives. My family gifted me an awesome book titled Wherever You Go by Pat Ziatlo Miller and illustrated by Eliza Wheeler. The book uses various roadways as a metaphor for the journey of our lives. It begins when it's time for a journey to learn and to grow. Roads guide your footsteps wherever you go. Roads give you chances to seek and explore. Want an adventure? Just open the door. Class of 2023, the world eagerly awaits you. They await the choices that you will make as you embark on your own unique paths throughout life. Exploring these roads demands something from us. And in return, it often rewards us immensely. As you commence your journey, you may discover that life sometimes resembles a slow country road or a fast-paced highway. Occasionally, you may find yourself on the wrong path, but the lessons learned and the resilience forged in finding your way back will teach you to learn from those mistakes and overcome challenges. There are times when we must construct bridges to forge connections or to merge with others to collaborate. Trust your instincts and follow whatever resonates within your inner self rather than conforming to the safety of paths well trodden by others. Although there may be detours along the way, remember to always press forward in order to reach your destination. When making choices, keep your true identity and desired destination firmly in sight. At times, you may need to yield to let others go first, or you may have to create entirely brand new roads through innovation and creativity. Class of 2023, now you stand at your precipice of your own unique journey. Wherever you go, the gift of discovery accompanies you. When the time comes to, uh, to embark on the quest for knowledge and personal growth, roads will guide you every step. These roads present you with abundant opportunities for exploration, and if you yearn for adventure, simply open the door before you and be sure to read the street signs. We all possess the power of choice. What roads, lie, what roads lie ahead for you? Your destiny, what lies ahead on your individual paths after graduation, is shaped by the choices that you make, the paths you take, and what you do with those choices. Now is the time to chart a new course and uncover the wonders that await you in the future. Remember the world is in constant change, evolving with every passing moment. Step out into the world, become a beacon of light, be a source of hope, spread transformative love, and strive to do good every single day. And remember, you can always follow the roads back home for support, love, and advice whenever needed. Members of the Board of, Ed Board of Education, Dr. Desiato, faculty, staff, administration, parents, and special guests. I am very proud to present the class of 2023. Congratulations. At this time, I would like to introduce science teacher, Mrs. Tamara Reed, who will introduce Alex Kavanaugh, the salutatorian of the class of 2023. Okay, give me a second here. Good evening, everyone. I just want to start out by congratulating all of the 2023 East Syracuse Manoa seniors here today at the SRC Arena. You've done a great job. It is truly a remarkable accomplishment that you've all made. I'd also like to welcome everyone in attendance celebrating this tremendous achievement with our seniors tonight. Thank you for coming. 
Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, fellow graduates and colleagues, it is my privilege and honor to introduce to you Alex Cavanaugh, our distinguished salutatorian for the East Syracuse Manoa graduating class of 2023. I have had the privilege of teaching Alex in my super biology class last year and getting to see how much he has grown into the amazing young man he is today. I was extremely honored when Alex asked me to introduce him at graduation, but I was also extremely nervous because I'm not a speech writer. I'm a science teacher, right? Um, first of all, Alex is just an academic rock star. He's extremely dedicated to his studies, strives for excellence, and has achieved remarkable academic accomplishments throughout his educational journey here at ESM. I'm astounded by the fact that Alex not only achieved an outstanding GPA, but also graduated with an associate's degree in math and science at OCC at the same time. On top of that, Alex has achieved scores of five on multiple AP exams, which is just no small feat. This is only a small part of Alex's extraordinary academic journey. When I first met Alex in my class last year, he was very quiet and reserved at the beginning. He did break out of his shell, though. Alex is a young man of few words, but the words were always well thought out and authentic. I noticed right away that this young man was special and, of course, quite intelligent. In fact, he is probably way smarter than I am. He would always turn in very thorough and detailed assignments, even if it was just for an effort grade. Alex always got high 90s or 100s, usually 100s, on all of his bio exams, but would always want to know if he got something wrong. He wouldn't make a scene of it, though. He would patiently wait until students were lining up at the door or out and then ask to see the questions he missed, even though he claims he is impatient, but he was very patient there. This just shows how humble he is. Alex also has a quiet competitive side to him. This competitive side came out when he would win during mostly win all the time during quizzes or Nearpod games and eat all of my candy that I gave out. He enjoyed that. Alex strives for excellence at every opportunity, but is very gracious and gra graceful about it. In the fall, Alex plans on attending Rensselaer Polytech Institute for Aeronautical Engineering. I mean, wow, I, I kind of had to look up what that was. I'm like something with space, but yeah. <laughs> I asked what Alex made him choose this field, and he said he wanted to participate in the next generation of aerospace technology and further our understanding of the universe. This just makes you realize that not only is Alex extraordinarily bright, but he displays a passion for a deeper understanding of the universe and beyond. I also asked him what he enjoyed most about my class. He told me that he found looking at specimens under a microscope fascinating, even though it's not space, even though he often needed my help finding them, which made me feel really important. Um, this shows Alex's persistence and never backing down from a challenge. He also stated he enjoyed all the dissections, even though they were a little gross. They were actually quite gross, but he enjoyed them. I believe he appreciated observing the internal parts of different organisms, but mostly enjoyed seeing his partners, especially Olivia, get freaked out on occasion. This shows his quiet sense of humor. The diversity of interest displays Alex's passion for figuring out the overall unknown. He has an insatiable drive to understand the universe, both big and small. RPI is extremely lucky to have a tremendously talented and passionate student attend their university. Alex will no doubt make his mark on RPI and beyond. I can't wait to see what he accomplishes in the future. I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. I wish to thank Alex's family who have given him unconditional support and helped mold him into the wonderful person he is today. Please join me in giving a warm round of applause and a heartfelt congratulations to this year's ESM salutatorian, Alex Cavanaugh. Thank you, Mrs. Reed, for that very kind introduction. Good evening, everyone. Thank you all for joining us for this momentous occasion. I would like to start by congratulating my fellow Class of 2023 graduates for making it to this moment. All of the hard work, triumphs, and numerous setbacks have led to this fateful day, and I couldn't be more proud to graduate alongside this group. Knowing my classmates, I'm sure that we'll go on to accomplish great things and I can't wait to see where we all end up. 
On behalf of my class, I want to thank all teachers, administrators, counselors, board members, and staff for making it possible for us to stand here today. I couldn't imagine going through the challenges of these recent years without the unwavering support and kindness that you provide for students. Due to your guidance, we have received an exemplary education that will certainly prepare us for what lies ahead. Thank you also to all parents and family members. I can speak for many when I say that we are eternally grateful for your love and support that has allowed us to flourish, even in the most challenging of times. Finally, I want to give a personal thank you to my mom and dad for believing in me, my brothers for being my lifelong buds, Olivia for making me a better person, and my friends for all the good times. Ferris Bueller said it best with his famous quote, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you might miss it. Yet, as I look back through my years of education, I realize I wasn't entirely successful in following these words of wisdom. I was constantly attracted to the idea of growing up quickly since being older meant more freedom, knowledge, and opportunity. In elementary school, I eagerly looked forward to attending the newly renovated middle school where I didn't have to sit in the same class for six hours straight. In middle school, I wanted nothing more than to be an independent high schooler that didn't always need to rely on my mom to give me a ride, although that took much, much longer than I thought it would. However, as our high school years come to a close, I now find myself looking back and missing the times we shared. I look back finally upon all the classes, after school hours, time with friends, sports games, dances, and even being referred to as number two in the hallways because of my class rank. As I reflect on my time in school, I've realized that I should have spent less time wanting to grow up and more time seizing every moment. 2023 has always seemed like some fake, illusory year that would never come, so I rarely took a moment to step back from my race to grow up to simply appreciate the times I was in. Classmates, let this be a lesson that life isn't always about the destination or the benefits that come with aging. Rather, many great pleasures in life come from being in the moment, appreciating the small things, and not becoming so preoccupied with what comes next that you take the present for granted. However, while being mindful of the present is important, this is not to say that looking to the future is always a negative thing. Despite the frightening nature of becoming an adult and the recent flood of reminiscent thoughts, we should remember that the future holds great potential. As we embark on our individual journeys, we should look toward our future endeavors with unyielding excitement. The people we'll meet and the experiences we'll have will undoubtedly contribute to our growth and success. Admittedly, there are many unknowns about our futures, such as where our decisions will lead us and what hindrances may arise. Nonetheless, we should embrace this uncertainty and be optimistic about the challenges along the way, since it's within this unknown territory where we mature the most. It is an absolute certainty that every one of us will experience fa failures as we pursue our goals. So don't, let your, so don't limit your ambitions for fear of these setbacks. The next few years will be pivotal, so learn from your mistakes, find your passion, and work hard to achieve your definition of success. I'll leave you with this. Don't let the allure of what comes next cloud the value of the present moment. Additionally, don't let your present doubts stop you from being hopeful about the future. To find fulfillment, we should all aim to strike a delicate balance between, treasuring the pre between cherishing the present moment and embracing the future. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. I enjoyed your reflection and accomplishments. Especially many great pleasures in life come from being in the moment, appreciating the small things, and not becoming so preoccupied with what comes next. At this point, we are going to welcome our science teacher, Mr. Eric Stolick, who will introduce the valedictorian of the class of 2023. Good evening. It's a privilege and a pleasure to introduce this year's valedictorian, Riley Murphy. Murph, Ry Ry, Coach Riley, Bird, R. Murph, Riley Elizabeth. Riley has so many names because she means so much to so many people. 
She leaves an indelible mark on everyone she meets. Riley asked me to introduce her for graduation in the most Riley way possible, with a grad proposal sign and flowers borrowed from Mrs. Mitiga. How could I possibly say no? Riley's one of the most multidimensional students that I have ever taught. At first, I was excited, but then overwhelmed. How do I do this young woman justice in a three-minute speech? I believe that D4 became Riley's second home this year. She took my anatomy class, stayed during study hall, and finished with forensics. So after spending three consecutive blocks together for the entire year, there's just so many things I could share. She needs her morning tea or a medium iced coffee from Duncan, unless Sergi's getting it for her, then it's a refresher. She loves ice, but hates dress shopping. She can be thoughtful, but spontaneous. She pierced her own ears and is more than willing to offer to do yours. And Riley is always surrounded by friends. Riley is an athlete. She has great respect for Coach Sergi and for her field hockey teammates. And when you see Riley tap her shin guards, it's time to lock in. Riley is also an academic force. If she didn't earn a 100, I first double checked my answer key. It wasn't until much later in the year that I even discovered that she would be the valedictorian. She was just always so humble and graceful. She's everything that a teacher wants in a student. Hardworking, inquisitive, resilient to setbacks, and willing to help others. And she's always pondering her place in the world. And Riley is constantly making lists. Her phone is filled with them. She has lists of things that she loves and hates, of pros and cons, of desires, of questions like, does the sun make a sound? And of goals like to learn all of the lyrics to all of the hype songs. Riley will attend the University of Rochester this fall where she'll major in biology with a focus in pre-med. I have heard more than one person say, that girl's gonna change the world, but I say she already has. She has a keen mind, a caring heart, and just the right amount of silliness. I want to take this opportunity to thank Riley's parents, Kathleen and Duke Murphy, for raising such an amazing young woman. <clears throat> there is no doubt that Riley's strength and independence was made, by, made possible by your love, support, and patience. If I had a daughter, I would want her to be like Riley. Riley, it's been a fantastic journey. I know you will build an incredible life for yourself and continue to make a positive impact in the world. You're about to leave the familiarity of high school behind, but new challenges await. Just remember that life has no problems, only decisions to be made. And the path ahead will not always be easy. If you put a rock in a pond, the fish will swim around it and use that rock to grow stronger. So when times get tough, be like Dory and just keep swimming. I mentioned that Riley makes lists. I have a list of my own. It's a to-do list for Riley and the class of 2023. It's a short list with just one thing. Go out and find what makes you happy. It's with overwhelming pride that I introduce your ESM 2023 valedictorian, Miss Riley Murphy. Thank you, Stalik. My mom wasn't crying before, she definitely is now. <laughs> Good evening to family, friends, staff, and my fellow graduates. To my peers, congratulations. And to everyone who supported us throughout all of our high school careers, thank you. I was also told that I need to give a very specific thank you to Mrs. Erin Maring. So now that I've done that, we can begin. If you had asked me last year what I thought a successful high school career looked like, I would have told you it was this. A year ago, I would have told you that it's being able to stand up here in front of all of you because I have a certain number at the top of my transcript. Some little girls dreamed of their wedding, wedding day when they were little. I dreamed of this. So it was quite a shock to me when Mr. Avellino told me I'd be delivering a speech at graduation and I had no idea what I wanted to say. 
For the past 13 years, I've strived for perfection. Perfect grades, a glowing resume, and that certain little number on top of my transcript. So when I was finally successful, I was so extremely excited. And then all the shininess went away after a few minutes, and I had to think long and hard about my priorities. So what does success truly mean? I could read you the dictionary definition straight out of Oxford, but quite frankly, I find that overdone and a bit tacky. On top of that, it would lack any meaning. The word success is defined in so many ways by so many people. Some people define success as the number of zeros at the end of their paycheck. Some people define it by the amount of people they're able to help by the end of the day. And in my case, I used to define success as my grade point average. Now that I'm here, I can confidently say that this is not my version of success. If this was supposed to be my version of success, then that meant many sleepless nights, staying up for hours on end until I completed all of my assignments, jumping through any hoop that was put up for me, and a lot more tears than I would like to admit. Vince Lombardi once said, perfection is not attainable, but if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. No matter what any of us do, we're going to be successful in somebody's eyes. But your own success is only meaningful as long as you believe it is. So as I've pondered the definition of success, I've come to the conclusion that there is none. My definition of success is going to be different than yours, and it's definitely going to be different than my parents'. But no matter who is doing it or what's being done, I've reasoned with myself and I've found some truths to that, that I'd like to share with all of you today. First, there's always going to be somebody that's better than you, or you're going to think that there's somebody that's better than you. It's a tough pill to swallow, but at the end of the day, someone else's success does not take away from your own. This leads me into my second point. If you aren't proud of yourself and your accomplishments, then why should anybody else be? There's a fine line between confidence and arrogance, and most of us aren't even close to it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with patting yourself on the back and admiring all of your hard work. You should be someone who you can be proud of. And finally, whatever you do beyond the four walls of ESM, do it with good intentions and do it out of the goodness of your heart. Your path in life may not always be straight, but you can always be kind. So to my peers, we're all leaving. Months from now, we'll go, all go our separate ways. The sense of familiarity we have within our four walls will disappear. We won't see familiar faces in the hallways. We won't get to complain together about certain classes or tests or the hike from the student parking lot to the main entrance. We won't all rush to take our B-reels together when it goes off during class. And perhaps what I'm gonna miss the most we won't all get to hear Mr. McGinn wish us all a blessed day every morning. It's bittersweet to leave everything and everyone we've known for so long. But there's not a doubt in my mind that each and every one of us will catch excellence throughout our lifetimes. As we go our separate ways, I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors, and I'm confident that you'll create and attain your own versions of success. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you, Riley. Your words that there is always going to be someone better than you, be proud of yourself and your accomplishments, and always be kind are wise and guiding advice in life. Thank you. At this time, we ask that all senior members to come forward to sing the song, Omnia Soul. We have enjoyed the many performances and talents from this class. We look forward to this song.
Thank you for that beautiful song. To paraphrase the lyrics, continue the journey to somewhere far from nowhere and continue to grow both strong and tall, longing to become, but knowing not the path at all. You are only the, be the, you are only the beginning, the long distance of your life. Embrace it and enjoy it. At this time, Dr. Desiato, it is with pleasure that I submit to you for formal acceptance as graduates of East Syracuse Manoa Central High School, the candidates assembled here who have met with full compliance, the regulations and requirements set forth by the Commissioner of Education and the State of New York. It is my pleasure to welcome Dr. Donna Desiato, Superintendent of Schools, to address the class of 2023. Good evening. Mr. Avellino, as superintendent of the East Syracuse Manoa Central School District, I am deeply proud and honored to formally accept the class of 2023 as graduates. Congratulations, you did it. It is wonderful to gather here this evening for the 57th, ESM's 57th, commencement ceremony and to share it with so many members of our community. Educating our youth is a partnership between home and school and our community. To all the ESM parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, sisters, and brothers, friends, cousins, and family members of the class of 2023, we thank you for your unconditional love, your continuous support and engagement and your unwavering support throughout these years. Thank you to all of our ESM families. So, you know, I always have to just have one more special wave from the grandparents because being a grandparent now, I know that there is no greater gift in life than one can have than being a grandparent. So grandparents, can you wave? Because I know you're here. I know you're here tonight. They are proud of you, proud of you. Graduates, we are all proud of you and excited for the promising future that awaits each of you. We are especially proud to share this celebration tonight with family, friends, community, and all who are gathered here. To all of us, as role models, you exemplify the vision of our district. You are prepared to excel in a complex, interconnected, changing world. During the significant challenges of your high school years, you demonstrated your strengths of perseverance, resilience, connectedness, commitment, creativity, teamwork, leadership, kindness, integrity, and gratitude. Today, we celebrate the culmination of your educational journey at ESM. We reflect on the years that sparkle with evidence of growth, the development of meaningful relationships, noteworthy accomplishments, and now the crowning moment of commencement. Graduation signifies that you have met or exceeded the requirements of receiving your high school diploma. Most importantly, your diploma symbolizes that the education you received provides a strong foundation for success in college, career, citizenship, as well as preparation for continued learning throughout life. ESM teachers, counselors, administrators, staff members have facilitated your learning and share in the celebration of your achievements tonight. Special thanks to all who contributed to these many celebrations, recognitions, achievements, memorable moments of the class of 2023. We want to take this moment to thank the, our, our faculty members who are assembled here this evening, with the faculty members from Park Hill, Fremont, East Syracuse Elementary, Manoa, Lincourt, Woodland, Pine Grove, 
and the high school, as well as the counselors, administrators, and staff members who are here tonight in this auditorium, all please stand at this moment so that we can recognize you and your role in preparing this class for graduation. We thank you to all of the ESM staff members, the Lincourt staff members, and all who have contributed to your preparation. This is a special graduation ceremony also for Mr. Avellino. On July 1, Mr. Avellino will transition from executive principal to his new role as deputy superintendent at ESM. Please join me in thanking Mr. Avellino and congratulating him for leading ESM High School for 11 years. Mr. Avellino. Thank you. We cherish the moments that we've all shared with you throughout your years at ESM. In 2019, you entered high school as freshmen. And in March of 2020, our world, our country, our state, and our community experienced a global pandemic. COVID-19 changed so many things, and yet you stayed the course and became more perseverant, more resilient, and more understanding of the things in life that we cannot take for granted, like going to school. Throughout these challenges, you became Spartan strong. This year, as Mr. Avellino noted in his opening, 107 of you are wearing the gold tassel. That means that you had all of your semesters with 90 or above what it also means is that you have set a new record. You are the class that has the highest number of gold tassels ever received by a graduating class. We also celebrate the students tonight who are graduating with endorsements from the New York State Education Department in career and technical education fields of automotive technology, carpentry, construction technology, cosmetology, culinary arts, business and finance, early childhood education, and media and broadcasting, along with those who have achieved their FAA remote pilot's license. Congratulations. As Mr. Avellino noted, this is our second cohort for the ESM Spartan Academy, early college high school graduates. The class of 2023 actually has many graduates with significant numbers of college credits. Tonight, we are also proud to announce that 11 students in this class will be graduating with a Regents Diploma and an Associate's Degree from Onondaga Community College in Computer Science or Math Science. Congratulations, Spartan Academy graduates. We thank Dr. Warren Hilton, President of Onondaga Community College, for joining us tonight to confer those degrees immediately following the awarding of the diplomas. We have shared and celebrated many special moments, Spartan marching band competitions, scholastic art competitions, athletic events, concerts, an evening of jazz, esports, drone competitions, the regular viewing each day of the morning show, celebrating Spartan Garage and the build of a hot rod, enjoying a memorable musical theater performance such as The Adams Family and High School Musical. And then most recently, so that all here will know it tonight, the amazing mastermind challenges and that ESM is the New York State champions for Mastermind, the only undefeated team in New York State. Woo! ESM is fortunate also to have many actively engaged alumni. Many of them are right here tonight in this auditorium because they are members of your families. ESM alumni remain connected to us both within our community and around the world across the country. They also want to congratulate you, so they are watching tonight, either here in this auditorium or by live streaming. And we want to thank our many alumni for all that you do to support our school district. 
If you are an ESM graduate tonight and you're in our auditorium, or if you're watching by live stream, please extend your arms to welcome the class of 2023 as our future alumni for the EA Syracuse Manoa Central High School. Woo. There they are. Welcome, you will be our newest alumni. So as we celebrate tonight this significant moment of commencement, we recognize that this is also the beginning of the next phase of your journey in life. You have worked hard to achieve this level of excellence. In addition to the outstanding achievements you have demonstrated in countless ways that you are caring, compassionate individuals who desire to make the world that you live in a better place for all. As you set your goals for the future, aim high. Let your purpose be fueled by your passion then you will love what you are doing and you will be doing what you love. Always remember that knowledge is important. However, what is most important is what you do with what you know, and that will make a difference for success in your life. We are proud of you. You are Spartan strong. You are prepared to make a difference. As you embark on your future endeavors, stay connected with us. You will be in our hearts forever. On behalf of the East Syracuse Manoa Board of Education, our ESM community, congratulations. We love you. May God bless you. We love you. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Desiato, for your words of encouragement for our seniors. Now the moment that we all have been waiting for, our diplomas. Please join me in the celebration and awarding of the diplomas to the members of the class of 2023. May we please have our student marshals come forward. Riley Murphy. Alex Cavanaugh. Anthony Veasley III, unsung hero, stepfather. Natalie Peterson. Margaret Mading. Mom and Dad, Unsung Hero. Emma Doney. Karar Abed. Daniel Abreu. Dylan Abreu. Samuel Adams, Unsung Hero, Mom and Dad. Abdi Rashid Aiden, Unsung Hero, Mom. Jalen Aldridge, unsung hero, dad and mom. Arabella Aiden, unsung hero, parents. Ermani Alec. Isabel Alvarez Lescano, unsung hero, mom and dad. Mohammed Alzuwabi, unsung hero, mom and dad. Anari Anderson, unsung hero, mom. Emily Andrews, unsung hero, parents. Rachel Osari, unsung hero, mom. Rhiannon Axman, unsung hero, mom. Vitor Azrado, unsung hero, author. Brian Badani, unsung hero, Brian. 
Zoe Beck. Jessica Baker, unsung hero mom and grandma Sue. Tierra Bauer. Angelina Baxter. Angelina Bean, unsung hero mom. Nadia Ben Hansen, unsung hero Joe Rogan. LaShawn Benjamin Jr., unsung hero father. Rachel Bennick, unsung hero mom. Aladdin Bibbick, unsung hero mom and Mr. Dixon. Demario Blair. Danielle Bonder Inko, unsung hero mom and dad. Tariq Borick, unsung hero mom and dad. Haley Borkowski, unsung hero mom and dad. Sarah Brethka, unsung hero mom and dad. Ariana Brennan, unsung hero sister and Mixer Dixon. Aiden Broom. Aiden Buddha Toki, unsung hero parents. Ryan Buffum. Paige Butterfield, unsung hero sister. Adriana Bird. Henry Callahan, unsung hero mom. Brady Campbell, unsung hero mom. Dylan Camps Dorta. Roseanne Kirati Darlin, unsung hero teacher. Savannah Caron, unsung hero mom and dad. Makai Carroll, unsung hero parents. Adela Cartner. Isabel Chavasti. Anthony Ciotti, unsung hero, Grandma Linda Dale. Benjamin Clappin, unsung hero, mom, dad, and girlfriend. Kylie Clark, unsung hero, Mr. Sincata, and Ms. Haler. Alexia Clark, unsung hero, mom, Mr. Dixon, and Officer Kamar. V. Close, unsung hero, family. Adriana Coleman. Rylan Camiso, unsung hero, mom and dad. Molly Comstock, unsung hero, Mr. Dixon. Alexander Conzone. Jack Cook. Catherine Costco. Sophia Costello, Costello, John Corsi, Jaden Kreit, unsung hero family, Kiera Crone, Kaylee Cusado, Cameron Davies, unsung hero mom and dad. Evan DeBurgess, unsung hero mom and dad. Daniel DeFader, unsung hero mom, dad, sister, and grandma. The fighter, apologies. Isaac Delgado Munoz, unsung hero mom and brothers. Clara De Souza. Carter Shindoa Davidi, unsung hero mom. Alexandra Dexter, unsung hero mom. Charles D.L. Jr., unsung hero mom and dad. Anthony Diaz. Derek Dorschbach. Brianna Dunn, unsung hero, everyone who pushed her. Alexander Derny, unsung hero, family. Olivia English, unsung hero uncle. 
Joshua Insulin Unsung Hero Family. Tyler Evans. Joseph Frederico. Rick Fellman. Alessandra Fernandez. Parker Farrow. Pascal Ferroa. Dante Jonathan Gaetano Schmigel. Brian William Galley, Unsung Heroes Mom and Dad. Parker Britton Gamble. Eli Sharice Gaskins. Jordan Ashley Gersna, Unsung Heroes Stepdad and Dad. Luke Thomas Gibson, Unsung Heroes Father, Mother, and Grandma. Daniel James Gilkey, Mom, Dad, and Josh. Mary Grace Godleski, Unsung Hero Aunt Claire. Olivia Rose Goff, Unsung Hero's Mom and Stepdad. Zachary David Gagne. Madison Mary Hadfield, Unsung Hero's Mom and Dad. Amina Haidarovich, Unsung Heroes Grandma and Grandpa. Madison Ann Hamilton, Family and Friends. Donald Lee Hamilton Jr., Thanks Family and Friends. Zachary Joseph Harmon, Parents and Grandfather. Tristan Riley Henderson, he thanks his mom and stepdad. Brendan Riley, I'm sorry, Ryan Hurlihy. He thanks mom and friends. Parker Daniel Hillman. He thanks mom, dad, and his brother. Daniel James Hills Valino. He thanks his parents. Aiden Riley Hurt. His unsung heroes, mom and dad. Carson Joseph Hoffman. He thanks mom, dad, and his dog. Robert Anthony Holloway III, he thanks mom and dad. Maeve Regina Hooker, she thanks her dad. Aiden Armand Hubler, he thanks his teachers and his family. Ty Jumper Hubschmidt. Ibrahim Husakovich, he thanks his family. Madison Kaylee Jewett, she thanks her parents. Brian Alexander Jimenez, he thanks his parents. Elijah Craig Johnson. Brittany Mary Alice Johnson, she thanks her aunt and uncle. Kyra Liana she thank, uh, Johnson, she thanks her grandfather. Tate Absalon Johnson, he thanks his family. Zachary James Johnson, he thanks his mama bear. Angelina Marie Jones, she thanks her mom and dad. Mia Marie Jones, she thanks her family and friends. Kelvin Lynn Jones, Jr. Sumit Kadaria. Jasmine Olivia Kenyon, she thanks mom and Caleb. Gabriella Rose Kiggins, her unsung heroes are her parents. 
Caden Paul King. Thomas Gage Knudsen, he thanks his mother. Caleb John Kroll, thanks Mr. Kissling. Daniel Joseph Cruz. Rachel Marie Ladd, her unsung heroes are mom and dad. Vaughn Patrick Ladley, his unsung heroes are mom and dad. Matthew Jeffrey Ledoux, he thanks his mom. Nailene Rochelle Lamarche, she thanks her mom. Courtney Alyssa Lane. Salome Loam. Derek Anthony Letterman. Araya Diamond Sincere Leslie, she thanks her mom. Nathan Kenneth Lobdell, he thanks his dad. Joshua Ryan Lopez, he thanks Mrs. Sherwood and his dad. Anthony Allen Lupini, his unsung heroes are his mom and Mrs. Ransom. Arpana Maji, she thanks God and family. Behuden Malkich, he thanks his mom and dad. Kaylee Ann Maloof, thanks her mom, Megan. Luke Michael Mancini, his unsung hero is Aaron Schofield. Seth Daniel Mabstone, his unsung hero is his sister, Kaylee. Ariana Heaven Marks. Shireen Samir Matar, she thanks her mom and dad. Ong Ong, Caitlin Nerealise McCarthy Ceresi, thanks Angelo. Luke Daniel McCarthy, thanks Mrs. Trevison. Javon Dominic McCubbin, his unsung heroes are mom and dad. Desiree Marie McGarity, thanks mom, dad, and Aunt Stacy. Jordan, Samantha McNally, her unsung hero is her mom. Giselle Janalise Michael Ham, thanks mom and dad. Skylar Joe Merkel, thanks her mother. Kiara Ann Messina, thanks her grandfather. Ethan James Meyer, thanks her, his great grandfather. Christopher Michael, his unsung hero is Mr. Ferris. Marie Elizabeth Miller, her unsung heroes are her parents. Sarissa Rose Mitchell would like to thank her dad. Sinat Mohammadi, her unsung heroes are her siblings. John Patrick Montana, he'd like to thank his mom. Hannah Montoot, she would like to thank her mom. Jaden Lamel Moore, his unsung hero is his grandma. Tremaine Lael Moore, his unsung hero is Mr. Sweeney. Trenton Christopher Moore, he would like to thank his mom and dad. Madison Jean Mosier, her unsung hero is her grandma. Omar Salah Mozab, he'd like to thank his mom and dad. Emily Nicole Murnane, she would like to thank her mom and dad. John Anthony Naperkowski. Brennan Nasif. Hannah Nish. Jenna Neshi. Zoe Nixon. Nicholas Nicotra. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Evan Nielsen. Justin Oakley. Sophia Oliver. Caitlin O'Reilly. Armin 
Osmanovic. Jacob Pacheco. Jack Paddock. Davis Palmer. Olive Panic Rutledge. Lauren Payne. Lilia Pena. Joshua Penoyer. Yandera Perez Ortiz. Gelsomina Perkins. John Perkins III, who would like to thank Chad Hawk. Caleb Pfeiffer. Waibao Fawn. Angelina Polcaro. Alicia Powers. Mackenzie Praxel. Nicholas Pudney. Gabriella Percheroni. Prabash Rai. Makai Ramirez, who would like to thank his mom and dad. Julian Randall. Jaden Raymond. Ariana Reed. Benjamin Richardson, whose unsung hero is Sol Schofield. Samara Ridley. Madison Riley. Ella Roche. Kenneth Rodriguez. Nicholas Rodriguez. Hadley Rossignol. Madison Rosso. Madeline Rushlow. Yesenia Sabari. Benjamin Scalfaro. Cassidy Ray Sheftick, who would like to thank Paul Sheftick. Ian Schroeder. Sol Schofield, who would like to thank Mary Mancini. Jacob Sen. Madison Serrano. Abigail Shambaugh. Autumn Shepherd. Aiden Sherlock. He'd like to thank his family. Natalie Shields, who would like to thank mom, dad, and Jack. Stefan Simcoe. Ariana Smith, who would like to thank her mother, Grandma Lorraine, and Colin. Carter Smith. Raphael Smith. Ryan Smith. Joshua Spilka. Damian St. Andrew. Owen Stab. Sarah Stadelman. Mark Stanton. Brian Stevenson. Carter Stewart. He would like to thank Jacob Pacheco and Kevin Stewart. Kevin Stewart, unsung hero, Jamie Pacheco. 
Anel Suljic. I'd like to thank his mom and dad. Sabina Suljic would like to thank her mom and dad. Kyle Swem. Bella Sylvester. Aliyah Thomas. Cole Thomas. Arthur Thurston III. Daniel Tovar. Mason Van Gordon. Braden Vendetti. Aiden Verat. That's all right. Michael Walker. Charlie Warner. Samantha Weigel, who would like to thank Mr. Sincata. Jacob Weston. Brandon White. Brittany White. Aaron Williamson. Alexander Wilson. Ryan Wilson. Suzanne Wilson. Stephen Winans. Alexander Wisniewski. I got you. Maximus Wonderlick. Ahmad Zato. Amber Zelinskis. No um, Lacey Loeffler, who would like to thank Ms. Botanko, Ms. Trivison, and Mr. White. And Jaden McIntyre. He'd like to thank Mr. McGinn. Congratulations, class of 2023. At this time, I ask that all members of the class of 2023 to stand. This will be your last official act as the class of 2023. On the count of three, please move the tassel from the right side of your motorboard to the left side. One, two, three. This, this signifies that you have prepared to graduate from high school. Audience, at this time, please rise as we welcome the senior choir members. Senior choir members. To sing the alma mater.
inquire, members. I will now read the principal's declaration. By the powers granted to me by the Board of Regents, I certify that all of you who have come forward to receive your diplomas this evening have met all graduation requirements as set forth by the Commissioner's regulations and the Board of Education, and therefore declare you graduated on this day, June 23rd, 2023. Congratulations. Please be seated. At this time, we ask the students receiving the, their Onondaga County, Onondaga Community College degrees to come forward. Please welcome Onondaga County Community College President, Dr. Warren Hilton, to present to the students graduating from the Spartan Academy their Onondaga Community College Associate Degrees. Thank you, Principal Avellino, and thank you to all of you for being here this evening on our campus here at Onondaga Community College. On behalf of the faculty and staff at Onondaga Community College, it brings me great joy to be with you this evening to present the associate degrees to these 11 students. We at OCC have a great partnership with the ESM School District, and we're very thankful for the leadership of Dr. Donna Desiato and Principal Avellino. So without further ado, to make it official, as I do at the commencement cer ceremony for OCC, I will read our official declaration. In consideration that all degree requirements have been met upon the recommendation of Onondaga Community College faculty and staff, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Onondaga Community College and the Board of Trustees for the State University of New York, I confer upon you your associate's degrees with all the rights, privileges, and obligations pertaining to that degree and program. Congratulations. Alex Kavanaugh. <laughs> Olivia English. <laughs> Tate Johnson. <laughs> Rachel Ladd. Matthew Ledoux. Ethan Meyer. John Anthony Naperkowski. Julian Randall. Benjamin Richardson. Joshua Spilka and Max Wunderlich. At the conclusion of the graduation of the class of 2023, our bagpiper, Mr. Avery Head, and the student marshals will lead the graduates in the recessional. We congratulate our graduates from ESM Central High School and OCC. Students, please stand up. Please remove your tassel. 
and you may now do the ceremonial toss your caps. Once again, we want to congratulate the class of 2023. We ask the class wait until Mr. Avery Head plays his bagpipes. You follow him off the, down the aisle. Thank you. 